Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada pricing table element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. The pricing table element allows you to easily add price tables to your Avada website. With two styles and a good range of options, this is a great element if you want to quickly display a range of services or products. I've imported the sports pre-built and on the facilities page, there's an example of the pricing table down the page here. It looks very simple, but there are a few clever things going on here. I'll start by editing the element. This element has the same structure as a parent and child element. So the table tab is where you add and style the individual pricing tables and the table options tab controls the setting for the overall element. As you can see here, there are three pricing columns added to the element. On this tab, you can add, clone or delete pricing columns as per the usual parent-child layout. Let's edit the options for the middle column here, the one called Premium. Ok, the first option is called Column Title. If you have a longer title than fits, the heading will just expand vertically on that column. The next option is Standout. I'll just set this to Yes so we can see the effect. This is effectively a lift-up effect with a drop shadow. Now notice how in this column there is a price of $199 that has strike-through formatting. If you look at the next field, Currency Symbol, you can see how this was done. The dollar symbol has been entered, but following this is a small simple bit of HTML that has been added using the deleted text tag. As always with Avada, you don't need to know any code, but it sure can help at times. Depending on your currency, you can set the symbol before or after the price which is the next option and is the actual price that displays. The next option, time period, displays after the price and here it's denoting that the price is per month. Then comes the feature rows, where you add the features of the product or service. There is an add feature row button to add a new row and under this are the feature row fields. You can rearrange them with the arrow icon and delete them if you don't need them. Another clever bit of coding from the designer here is making the text on this first row a bit bigger, and with a separator underneath. But this is achieved simply with a combination of a H6 tag and the separator shortcode. Very clever. The remaining rows are just plain text, with the exception of the second last one here, which has had a span style applied to it to change the colour. Also, as you can see with the last row, the content can span over multiple lines. Finally, there is the footer content section. Here you have a full editor, so you can add a button, like has been done here, or pretty much anything else you like using the Avada Builder Element Generator. If you leave this area empty, no footer will be displayed. Ok, so now let's have a look at the Table Options tab. This controls the styling of the pricing table as a whole. The first option here is Type. There are two styles available, with the main difference being in the header and the price. This instance of the element is using style 2, so I will just change to style 1 to show you the difference. Ok, under this is a whole range of options for controlling the colours of the individual parts of the pricing table. All seven of these values are currently using their default values. Background colour is the first of these, and this controls the background of the details area, excluding the header and footer of the table. You can also set a background hover colour for this area. Then there's a border colour, a divider colour, a heading colour, a pricing text colour, and finally a body text colour. So if I just add a few different values in here, we can see how easy and quick it is to completely change the look and feel of your pricing tables. I'll set the background colour to colour 2, and the background hover colour to colour 3, I'll set the border colour to colour 8, and here you can see that apart from the border of the table, it also colours the pricing area and footer. I'll set the divider colour to colour 4, and the heading colour to colour 5. And finally I'll set the pricing text colour to colour 4, and the body text colour to colour 8. Ok, that's quite a different look for the pricing table. I'll just set these back to the defaults here with the reset to default arrow, but as you can see, with these colour options, you have a lot of control of the pricing table's appearance. Under these options is the margin option, which is for the element as a whole, and under this are the ubiquitous element visibility option for controlling the element's appearance on different screen sizes, and the CSS class and CSS ID fields for further customization of the element with CSS. If you want to take your pricing tables to the next level, you can of course also build them manually. 
Here, for example, are four pricing tables imported from Avada Studio that are professionally designed using individual elements and that demonstrate the full flexibility of design available when using the Avada Builder. But for a simple and quick pricing table with lots of design options built in, the pricing table element is versatile and stylish. And with a bit of design skill and ingenuity, you can create great looking pricing tables for your website. Ok, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.